Which Ninja Turtle has a bow staff? Donatello. Hey, I'm Ben. I'm a huge fly fisherman. And thanks for watching another one of my huge fly fisherman videos. I'm packing for a big trip today, and I thought that might be a good video topic for you. Some fly fishing travel tips. I did a video like this a long time ago, but things are always changing, and I thought we were due for another one. We all know that traveling can be stressful, all of the airlines suck, but I've got some tips that will hopefully make things go a little smoother for you. Quick disclaimer, there will be different rules on different airlines or in different countries. And as I said, things are changing all the time. I'm gonna talk about what has worked well for me in my experience. Let's start by talking about packing for a trip. You need to evaluate what you need to bring and what you could leave at home. Some of that might surprise you. I've done plenty of trips where I don't bring a rod, a reel, or a single fly. I'm going somewhere to fish with friends. They have all that stuff and it's perfectly good. I can just use their stuff. Or maybe you're fishing with a guide. Will they provide equipment? If so, just use their stuff and you don't have to worry about lugging yours along. I know you just got a fancy new fly rod that you wanna use, but it really doesn't matter whose gear you're using because you're gonna suck at fly fishing anyway. So think about it. Can you leave your waders at home? Do you need 17 fly boxes? Probably not. Just bring the essentials, like a beer helmet. Okay, maybe you do need to bring a fly rod. Let's talk about traveling with rod tubes. Number one, don't bring a two-piece rod tube. They are terrible to travel with. You're a grown-up now, maybe. Go get a four-piece rod like the rest of us. With a four-piece rod tube, you don't have to go all Donatello up and down the airplane aisle. Four-piece rod tubes are great, but it's really all about multi-rod tubes. These bad boys hold like four or six rods each. Only morons go somewhere with only one fly rod, and the multi-rod tube is by far the best way to carry more than one rod, unless you like taping all your stuff together. My standard carry-on gear is a backpack and one of these, and I've never, ever been hassled about it. YMMV. When you're carrying your rods through the airport, I promise that somebody will come up to you and ask if you're going fishing or how the fishing was. Do not waste this opportunity to make up a story about who you are and what you do. My go-to is that I'm on a holy quest to vanquish all Tenkara fishermen. All joking aside though, I don't carry rods on anymore because I'm sick of people in the airport asking me about fishing. I'm just trying to enjoy my margarita, man. So I've been checking my rods with all my other stuff lately. Let's talk about checking bags. Obviously it's better to carry on so that you know you'll have your stuff, but sometimes it's not always possible. If I'm checking a bag, I'm gonna put most of my stuff in that bag and I'll only carry with me whatever's absolutely essential, sort of what I talked about earlier. For me, the essential gear is stuff like cameras and batteries and things like that. It's probably different for you, but most of my fishing trips are to make content and I can actually pull that off without my rods and reels, but I'm gonna need my camera. So all of my electronics and chargers and stuff go in my carry-on. I can get by without all that other stuff that's in my checked bag. Maybe you're wondering about like hooks and pliers and things like that. Can you carry them on? My personal experience is I've never had a problem with hooks. I had a pair of pliers confiscated in the Bahamas once. I have heard stories of hooks not being allowed in your carry-on on, but again, it hasn't happened to me. I mean, I'd say if there's any doubt, just check it so you don't have to worry about it. One more tip about checking bags, get yourself some Apple AirTags. This is now essential gear in my mind. They're like 30 bucks, throw it in your bag, and you're going to know where your bag is, even if the airline doesn't. Also, not really related, but I've been carrying a Garmin InReach Mini with me for a while. Take that pretty much everywhere. That's so my wife knows where. I all right, let's switch gears a little bit away from fly fishing specific, and we'll just talk about some general traveling advice. I think the first thing is to arrive early at the airport. I'd rather sit in the airport for three hours doing nothing rather than be rushing to get to my plane. That's just how I like to live my life. Don't let me tell you how to do you. When you've arrived at the airport early and you've got some time to kill, you might like to have a drink at the bar. Same here. My advice there is to drink cocktails 
cocktails instead of beers. If your bladder is the size of a walnut, maybe you know why. The next tip's a little bit of a hot button issue for me. Now keep in mind that I've lived in a resort town for the last 20 plus years. When you go on vacation, please remember to bring your brain. I can't believe the amount of idiocy I see out there that could be prevented just by paying attention to what's around you. And if you do something stupid, don't you dare say, well, that's how we do it in Texas. You are not in Texas and you don't have to tell us that's where you're from. We already know. If you're on a fishing trip somewhere, please respect the locals their customs, their way of life. Just be nice to them. And remember that not everyone is on vacation like you are. All right, last bit of advice for you. If you take a lot of fishing trips, you're going to run into some bumps in the road. Don't get angry about it. There will be some adversity. So you had a weather day and you missed out on a day of fishing. Well, at least you're not at work. Things happen. Rarely does everything go smoothly. Just relax and remember you're there to have fun. And that's it, we're gonna stop right there. I gotta finish packing because I'm a last minute packer. Thank you as always for watching another one of my huge fly fisherman videos. I'll be back as soon as I can with another video about fly fishing for you. Until then, don't stand up when the plane lands and stay huge. Remember, if you are going to use Apple AirTags, please use them responsibly. Definitely do not attach them to fish so you can come back and find them later. Don't do that.